You're watching CBS News Los Angeles, The Rundown. Hello, I'm Juan Fernandez, and here's a look at your top stories. Thieves caught on camera stealing goats from an Inland Empire farm. KCAL News reporter Michelle Gilly is in Ontario with more. We're at Drake Family Farms in Ontario, where a dozen goats have been stolen. The folks here desperate to get their beloved animals back. Now, part of the story is about these two kids sisters here. These two goats were born about an hour before the thief arrived here on the farm. Unbelievably, their mother was one of those goats taken. So the staff here has had to figure out how to care for these newborns uh, so they will survive. There were pregnant goats that were taken among the group of 12 and also a couple of kids. Uh, the folks here at the farm say that they do have some surveillance video that we're going to be bringing to you a bit later. Uh, it's not great video, but it does kind of explain where the car parked uh, before the theft occurred. So we are here listening to the stories here. Uh, the mascot of sorts, a goat named Nova, was one of those prize goats that was taken. They're worth about $1,000 each, and it really isn't even about the money it's about the fact that this is one big family here. The owners want their goats to be returned. They are offering now a reward of $2,500. Right, we'll have more from Michelle at 4 o'clock. Meantime, Anaheim City Council has signed off on a proposal to expand the Disneyland Resort. This means new attractions, shops, restaurants over the decades can start being built. The council voted to support the nearly $2 billion Disneyland Forward plan. A final vote will be held next month. Meanwhile, there are two efforts to unionize workers in the Parks, Characters and Parades Department. Disneyland cast members and Actors Equity Union leaders made the announcement this morning. They say for the past two months, union authorization cards have been collected from 1,700 cast members. Disneyland performers currently make $24 an hour. All right, turning now to the weather and another gorgeous day in Southern California, but well, let's stick around. Let's check in with KCAL meteorologist Olga Ospina with your next weather. Olga. Hi, Juan. And yeah, it just kind of depends on where you are along the coastline. We are seeing some gray skies and temperatures are on the cooler side. However, for inland spots, uh, we are certainly feeling those warm temperatures. In fact, we still have some 80s today, so uh, pretty warm for springtime. Santa Monica checking in currently at 62 degrees. Uh, we do have some cloud cover overhead. We'll see more of that as we head into the next couple of days. But take a look at our temperature change map along the coastline. We are much cooler, but some of our inland spots, especially as we head towards the high desert, some of our mountain areas numbers are actually warmer than what we were feeling this time yesterday. So we have more of that onshore push that sea breeze moving in. So those coastal areas really feeling those cooler temperatures. 59 degrees currently in Malibu, whereas Santa Clarita, you are in the 80s, as is the case for a lot of the Inland Empire as well. So here's a look at temperatures this afternoon. Uh, 60s along the coast with upper 70s for LAOC Metro and 80s for the valleys, Inland Empire and High Desert, 66 across our mountain communities. And we do have some changes as we head into the next uh, couple of days. That area of high pressure. That ridge starts to flatten out. We're going to cool things down just a bit thanks to a disturbance to our north. However, it's not going to bring us any rain, but we will feel a little bit cooler, especially as we head into Friday. Then temperatures are going to start rising, especially late in the weekend. Sunday is going to be the warmest day and we're going to keep things dry by midweek, though. We do have this trough of low pressure that potentially uh, will bring us certainly some much cooler temperatures and uh, we're keeping an eye on that one still about a week away. Uh, so we'll keep tracking that for you. But for now, just know that temperatures are going to be going for LAOC from the mid 70s tomorrow, upper 70s by the weekend. Again, their Sunday, the warmest day nearing 80 degrees and then dropping to the mid 60s by next Wednesday. As we head towards the valleys, a nice weekend for you. 79 and 84 degrees for your Saturday and Sunday. Still warm as we head towards the beginning of next week. And then temperatures back down into the low 70s. Again, with more of that cloud cover as we head towards the middle of the week. For the Inland Empire, enjoy the upper 70s and the 80s. Even near 90 degrees as we head towards Sunday by 
Wednesday of next week, temperatures back down into the 70s. The deserts, 80s and 70s will be the story for you over the next seven days. Mountain 60s turning into 70s by Sunday. And along the coastline, we're feeling 60s, 70 degrees by Sunday with some sunshine. That's going to be your good beach day. And then temperatures uh, will continue mild as we head into the middle of next week. Juan. Olga, thank you. And this has been CBS News Los Angeles, The Rundown. I'm Juan Fernandez. Thanks for joining us. We'll be back live at 4 right here on CBS News Los Angeles.